For the first method, we're going to right click on the Windows Start icon, then we're going to click on Run, then we're going to type in ncpa.cpl, click on Enter. Once you're on it, you want to look for your network adapter, so you might have either Wi-Fi or Ethernet. I'm using Ethernet, but whichever one you have, just right click on it, click on Properties, and then we're going to open up Internet Protocol version 4. Double click on it, and then make sure that Obtain IP address automatically is ticked, and then on the bottom, click on Obtain DNS server address automatically is ticked, and then click on OK. For the next method, we're going to right click on the Windows Start icon, then we're going to head over to Device Manager. Once you're on it, we're going to open up Network Adapters, and then you want to find your network adapter. So I'm using Ethernet cable, but you might be using Wi-Fi. So it might say like Intel Wireless Wi-Fi, something like that. But for me, this is my Ethernet cable. So whichever one it says either Wi-Fi or it might say Ethernet cable, just right click on it and then click on Update Driver. And then click on Search Automatically for Drivers. Check if your best drivers for your device have already been installed. If it says that, then just go back and then click on Browse My Computer for Drivers and then click on Let Me Pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. And then you want to try to install all the ones that will come up here. Click on it and then click on next. For the next method, we're going to head over to search and type in troubleshoot settings. Click on it. Once you're on it, click on other troubleshooters. And then you might have under other internet connections. If you see that, then click on run. But I don't have it because I'm using the ethernet cable. But if you still don't have that, then head over to program compatibility troubleshooter. Click on run. And then select the web browser that you're having issues with. So for example, if I'm having issues with Google Chrome and then click on next and then run that and see if it works. You also want to make sure that the web browser you're using, whichever one it is, is fully updated. The way to do this on probably most web browsers is by clicking on the three dots in the top right, then head over to settings. And then you might have something like either about web browser or update web browser, click on it. And then as you can see on Google Chrome, for example, it's up to date. Whichever web browser you're using, just follow that method and then see if it's up to date. If it's not, just update it. For the last method, we're gonna head over to search and type in CMD, then we're gonna run it as administrator. Click on yes. Once you're on this, you wanna type this command, N-E-T-S-H space Winsock space reset space catalog, and click on enter. Once this is done, restart your computer and the problem should be fixed.